Welcome to Lily White's podcast. This podcast is all about the Sutton Athletic game. This week we have Matt Crofty, who everybody knows, and if you don't, you will understand. Also have a return of Joe, and we have the man of the match, Oran Bafuda, and the manager's interview. Don't forget, next Saturday's game is Homesdale, which is a 2pm kickoff. As always, up the Lily Whites. I'm here with Matthew Croft. Does a bit of everything at this club and is the first gentleman I met when I first got here. So first of all, thank you for bringing me to the club. But welcome to the Lily Whites podcast. And uh, what do you think of today's game against Sutton Athletic? Um, I'm pretty confident we're going to get the three points. I think we have settled down playing wise. I think we'll be good. We'll be good for three points and a few goals. Now, obviously, we always ask the first people the first time to come on the podcast. You have a lot more insight than a lot of people do, but what is your take on Tommy Wirillo's tenure so far? Uh, what I like about Tommy, he settled things down, um, calmed all the, um, so to speak, circus down, and we have actually got an identity with the way he plays, the way he wants to play, shape, etc., etc. so it's really good. Now, the past few weeks, last week's performance wasn't on par, I know that um, a lot of people are angry, but how did you see last, perform- last week's performance and what did you think uh, the boys need to do today? Last week um, was a surprise really, the way we allow goals in, um, but I've looked back at the highlights on the VO and through Brownie, your um, highlights, and how we haven't won that game with the amount of chances we've had, I don't know, it, it, we could have won that, I don't know, six, seven goals. But we just didn't put the gold away. It's such a shame. Tell us a little bit more about yourself. What made you a Lily White in the first place, and uh, why the Lily Whites? And speak a little bit about the roles you do at this club, because, like, let's let's be honest, like you're a bit of a man of everything. So yeah, let's have a little bit of a talk about that. Right. Well, first of all, I got involved. Um, well, I actually come down here thanks to Julian Bill. He said, uh, "Come down. It's a good family club." I was a Whitswell boy, no longer. Um, first game I was here, everyone made me feel welcome, loved it, got more and more involved. Uh, Mark Leader got me involved on the social media side of things and just grew from there. And, and lo- I was honoured to be invited onto the board as a director. And yeah, I do a bit of everything. Um, <laughs> everyone, I'm, I'm everyone's go-to man, Matt, can you do this, Matt, can you do this? Nine times out of ten, say, yeah, I'll do that, I'll do that, no problem. And yeah, now you've handed it over to me, but I know you've done a really good job before. So first of all, I want to big you up and out. But again, thank you for everything you do around this club. So next question is, have you got a favourite Lily White of the season? And have you got a favourite goal of the season? Oh, you've put me on that one. I'm, I haven't got a favourite goal of the season, no. Um, I just want people to, if I see someone put in 100% and a bit of passion and fight for that shirt, that's, that's all good enough for me. So you haven't got a favourite player, anyone you put... You like her the most out there? I'm not going to answer that one. That's not fair. So, uh, <laughs> How's it not fair? This, this, not fair. It is. Um, what's your score prediction for today? I've gone 3-1. 3-1. First goal scorer? I, was, I fancy uh, Mafula. Or on Mafula scored the first goal, even though mainly it's Stefan Payne that gets the first goals. Yeah, no, no. Payne can be greedy, and uh, I'm, going for, I'm going for Mafula. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for being on today. I'll catch you after, and again, up the Lily Whites. Up the Lily Whites. Joe, welcome back. Bit of time since we've seen you at Fisher, and now we're here today in Sutton Athletic. Having a joke there, Crofty runs off. Um, how's it been since the last time we had a thing, and what do you think of the new signings? New signings look promising. I think we needed the depth. But since that Fisher game, I think we're still lacking a bit of form we'd like, especially knowing how many more games we played than everyone else. We're not focused on anyone else, but you still always look at other teams' games because. It's just so many games now for some people. Like Deal, they've got seven games now on Glebe. But it could work against them. But I think the new signings are just so needed. Especially Ben being experienced. I know Tyreek's not played at all this season. But he's got a good background. So hopefully, once they get up to fitness, Ben will be all right. He's played all season for Ashford. And Tommy knows him well. So hopefully, there'll be uh, some good additions for the team. Last week, the Lily Whites had a loss to Lordswood, unfortunately. It's like our bogey team. If we was Arsenal, they'd be our Bolton, if anyone knows that reference being my age. Um, what did you see in that performance? What didn't you like and what did you like? Because there was lots of positives to take from that game as well. Just couldn't finish. In that second half, it just, it just weren't happening. But I think credit to Lordswood because they were blocking everything. They, they had that 110% effort the whole game. And sometimes 
it's just doing simple things like that, giving it the effort. But when you're two 0 down in seven minutes, you've set yourself up for failure because you've already knocked yourself with confidence, silly mistakes. Trying to come back from that is a hard task. And unfortunately, when we did finally find the net, it was too late, and we ended up looking like we might have pulled it back. But losing three two, I think that scoreline kind of made us look better than I think we were the whole game in a sense because. If we'd kept the game tidy at the start, we'd been in a game we could have maybe got rid of the, the fact that they're our bogey team. Very quick question. It was a very big thing on social media this week. Offside or not offside for Stefan Payne's first, well, what would have been his first goal? I think the, the Lionizer got sank against him here because he seems to be offside four times within the first half an hour. And, uh, and uh, not to be horrible to him, he's, he's not exactly as quick as he used to be, but somehow the Lionizer seems to just flag him every time. It's no one else. It always seems like Payne is offside, but you look at him and you're like, no, that's a good run and we can see it from the side and I think sometimes they do get it wrong. Obviously they try their best but he could have so many more goals if uh, let's say decisions went our way. Who is your favourite Lily White of the season so far? As in player? Yeah. Oh, he stuck me on the spot. Do you know, I know he's not been here the whole season but I think Finn's up there. I think Hassler when he's got his form and then obviously Payne, he's, he's just banging in goals all season since he joined. So I think them three are all different areas are like the best player in each final third of the, the field that you could split it up to. So I think Finn and Hassler and then Payne for goals. Payne for the goals. And goal of the season for you so far, there's been some really good goals and there's been some last minute equalisers that mean a lot. But what's your favourite goal that you've witnessed this year? Do you know what? I'm going to say Hassler against Whitstable at home. That's I it. think he, that game, he run the show in that second goal. Just, I think it topped the performance off and that was, that's how we need to be for every game of the season, playing like we did against Whitstall early in the season. But yeah, that's one of my favourite goals. Thing about, one but, thing about being Lily White, we do get some good goals and we do get some really good play and it's always fireworks when we play as well. Yeah, funnily enough, probably the second goal would be Billy Bennett against Whitstall well, as well when we was away because that was a cracking goal in the first half. When he, he hit it and you just knew it was going in. So it seems like Whitstall is the team we like to score good goals against. <laughs> We've seen, obviously, since we've last seen you as well, we've played, we've played Dill Town. We had a com convincing performance at home as well. That was a really big game, the Dill Town game, going back to it. You know, it was a game that I think we dominated. But how did you see that game? Should have won that game. <laughs> like, that's, that's the only way I can put it. I don't want to talk too much about it. But again, the same as last week, the finishing was poor. And we could have been 4 0 up at our time. I think that's the story of our season here. That if we could just be a bit more clinical in front of goals or goalkeepers have a half day. One question I do want to ask you is when teams play us, they always seem to bar deal, uh, they always seem to take a step up. Why do you think that is that people come, especially when they play us here at home, they come with sort of an attitude to try and demolish us? And yeah, some, a lot of teams get that, that kind of luck on the day. I think the obvious reason is uh, due to word of mouth that our budget is the biggest in the league and it's in extremely big for what it should be. Obviously, we have put money into the squad. You know, Gary is he back to the previous manager. And for some reason, you can see it when teams go one up. It's not just their players on the pitch that are going mental. You see their management run on. And for some reason, it's a target on our backs. Yes, we made some big signings and not all of them have been perfect. But for some reason, being a team that got relegated and put money into a squad, everyone thought, you know, we're going to jump on that and we're going to make sure we kill them. And it seems like people then have seemed to have forgotten about, like, Glebe, Corinthian and Dill. They're actually better than us this season, but I bet teams don't celebrate against them like they do against us. Last question. All the teams that have played us this year, if I was to, if I was to say all the teams that have played us, I've seen, the, I would say, the best team that have played against us, I would say Era of Town. Taking out that you're a Lillewhites fan, all the teams that you've seen, who's the best team you've seen? Best team I've seen. Oh, yeah. I think Eric, that game at home at Erif, they they put in a good ship. And then I'd give credit to Lordswood. Teams like Lordswood, they they're a mid-table side, but they've done well against us. And I think for me, it always comes down to effort in 90 minutes. And every time we played them, all three times, their effort was second to none. It was unreal. So I'll, I'll give credit to Lordswood. I'd say. Well, Joe, I know you've got a team sheet to announce, and thank you for your time. Up the Lily Whites. Cheers, mate. Up the Lily Whites. As Matty sips his beer, a very happy man because he got the first goal scorer correct. But also, as well, the Lily Whites got a nice victory here. What was your thoughts? Well, I knew Warren would score first. Um, and I knew we would control the game and win the game. I just had a good feeling about today. Um, Good to see that we've changed our shape and we looked in control the whole game and yeah, and getting to goals, which is nice. Yeah, you said it like really soft first goal to be honest, probably the keeper we should have done better, but they all count and um, as someone once said yesterday, 
uh, as long as you can hit the target, you know, you're going to be scoring. What was the key points for you in that game, though? You know, we obviously were controlling at half time, but what were the key points of the game for you? We kept our shape. We played some good football. A bit slow for me at times, I thought. But, um, yeah, no, I thought the football was really good. Nice tempo at times. And when we scored the goals, we, they were good goals. So, good for me. Which one out of those five goals was your favourite? First one. First one? Yeah, yeah. What's it doing what, what he does best? Yeah, nice and simple out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe their goal he could have done better, but no, what have done what, what he does best. Just spoken with Tommy as well, and, you know, March is a bit of a weird month for us. You know, we have two Saturdays off, but then we have two Tuesdays and, you know, almost three Saturdays as well with that. Um, what's, what's your thoughts on how that all sort of plans out for us? Well, the games are coming thick and fast. Um, and, yeah, midweek games, you just never know how, how it's going to be sometimes. If we're away, you don't know how, how the pitch is going to be. Obviously, we've had pretty shit weather recently. Um, you'd have to delete that swear no, right now. Yeah, swearing in this podcast. Oh, all right, that's cool. Um, say fuck, say what you want. <laughs> but yeah, no, it doesn't matter whether it's a Tuesday or a Saturday, we've we got, we got to win every game, really. What do you think of Ben's performance today? Solid. Back three, I thought was solid, other than Finn's mistake for the goal. I thought it was, it was solid, it was good, good performance. I think with Finn, it's one of those things where, you know, it happened last week, happened today, but you know with Finn, you're getting 100% and he doesn't he doesn't go through those things. And uh, he's a player that we absolutely love here. Oh, here comes Billy, here comes Billy. <laughs> um, I thought Billy. he should have scored. Oh, there you go, Billy Billy Bennett not scoring. That is, uh, is a bit of a bit. He was, he, was un, he was unselfish today out there as well, yeah, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Billy... Um, I thought played a different role today so, and, and done quite well. Um, but yeah, should have scored. But yeah, he laid on a few, few passes, etc. Um, I thought, um, yeah, no, everybody played really well. I'm really pleased with that. And just lastly as well, Heidi was in there. He came on for a few things, but a good, few, good few touches. Do you reckon he's going to be crucial to Lily Whites? Hopefully. Um, he looks quite big and mean and, and looks like he can um, hold the ball up really well in the midfield and, and run with the ball and he laid a lovely pass on for Woody on out and to the right so you, see, you can see he's, he's got some good attributes so hopefully he'll bring some joy to the club Holmes down next week up the Lily Whites up the Lily Whites and outside of the SOS bar where everyone's singing the songs because the Lily Whites have had a 5-1 win today you can hear them singing Warren Mafula. Warren deserves to have his, uh, his name sung, mate. His, uh, he set us up to win that game, getting the goals early on. It, it's what you need, like Lords did to us, get them two goals early on, sets the game up, you don't look like you're going to come back. Warren, first start in a while, he's done it and he's, uh, he's done well to set us up for the rest of the game there. Yeah, you know, coming into today, it's sort of like a, it could have been a bit of a trap for us, really, because Lords were getting it and then Sutton, who are desperate for points at the bottom of this table. You know, they could have, they could have been a banana peel. How do you think of the overall performance though out there? I think everyone was on the same level, and it's good to see like Ben at the back. It's not an easy job to change formation and put a new centre back in, and he's come in. And I, I, to be honest, I forgot he was even on the pitch. I thought he was just a player that had been here all season. He was perfect. He fit in well. Um, nice to see Tyree get on, but I think everyone was on the right page. And then today we had the finishing boots on. Like Warren got two, Steph got two. You can't ask for more. Has to bangs it another free kick, and there must be his fourth or fifth free kick of the season like it was the perfect game plan it worked but it shows what can what we can do when we actually can find the net and actually get some shots on because it was like a complete different performance to last week and it's a lot better that we need to see for the rest of the season even though we did lose last week we've got a, a bereft of goal scorers here you've got Hassler who's got seven in, a, in about eight games you've got Mafula who's now got four in three you've got Payne who just does what he wants <laughs> how good is it to though to have a club like this where loads of different players are scoring goals yeah, we wouldn't, be, we wouldn't be in the playoffs or near the playoffs if we didn't have as many luxury players going forwards. Like KC, he don't score often, but I don't think there's any winger that is like him in this league. He beats anyone that's in front of him and he doesn't really care who's in front of him. He's fearless, always beating players and he's always trying to get a good ball in the box. And it's vital to have people like him alongside, like you say, Hassler, Payne, um, Warren that can actually get the goals. But even like Bennett, he'll pop up now and then. Nathan Wood's still looking for a goal, but you can see it's coming. He's, he's, I don't know how he's not scored today. He's, 
hit a few over the bar, and then when he gets one on target, unfortunately, it's just unlucky for him, it's straight down the keeper. Yeah, I'm sure it will come for Woody. Woody is actually very well liked amongst the Lily Whites, even though he isn't scoring. Everyone says it off the ball. He's always looking for it, and he's also putting himself about. But for you, I know Warren was the man of the match, but if you had to pick anyone else today for a man of the match out there, if anyone was giving their best effort, who would you pick? I'd probably give it to the back line. They, did, they didn't have much to do, but it's games like this where, you, like you say, you can slip up because you can have a moment where, like, like Finn unfortunately made a mistake for the goal. It, it seemed like we needed a bit more communication for someone to tell him there was a man on. But other than that, like I say, I think Ben, Ben gives a good shout out to him for someone that's just come in straight into starting lineup. It was solid. Even nearly had a goal, I think, from a corner. So it was good to see. And it's, I know Tommy's worked with him before, so he knows what he can expect. But yeah, I think Ben, as a debut player, he deserves a good shout out today. Holmesdale next for Lily Whites. Uh, you know, it wasn't long ago that we were absolutely giving them a thrashing. So we go down to Bromley next week. And uh, what are your thoughts on that one? Not to be horrible to Holmesdale, but I think we've got to put another five goals in. You look how many goals we scored. I was told today that um, I think it was the second or third goal today put us over to 100 goals for the whole season in all competitions. There's no team that have done that yet. I think we've scored now maybe 85 goals or 84 goals in the league. That's like five or six above anyone else. And even if Dill were to score two goals in every game in hand, they still wouldn't score as many as us and catch up with us. So it's good. But all I'm going to say to you, mate, is I've done two podcasts. <laughs> we've scored 11 goals, right? So you and should we've be on the pod lost. every week. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like... Mate, you're a stadium announcer. You're not having a podcast announcer. I'll just hand <laughs> over to Joe, you are now. No, I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's been really good, mate. Every time we talk to you, you're so enthusiastic about the Lily Whites. So thank you always for coming on. And last of all, we always say, but up the Lily Whites. Yeah, up the Lily Whites. I'm here with man of the match, Warren Mafula, on his two goals day, which should have been a hat-trick. How are you feeling, Warren? Uh, feeling good. Uh, feeling good. Get back on the win. Uh, good results. Obviously, last, year, uh, last week we were very disappointed with the results. But today, uh, we started start the game really well on the front foot. And then, and then I think we deserved the goals. Could have been more, but we're happy, happy with the win. Am I right in saying this? Mm. Uh, this is four goals in three games. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh well, the one where you've gone for your lip? Yeah. Last week? Yeah. And, and two, two today. today. So, oh, wow. mate, you're, in bit of, you're a bit of form here that, for the Lily Whites. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm finding my form uh, towards the end of the season, business end of the season, so I'm really happy with that. And then I know it's a lot to play for. And then, yeah, it's, you know, if you're a striker, you always want to score. So I'm happy to be back scoring. It's been a bit of an indifferent time with you at the Lily Whites because obviously towards the end of the last manager's tenure, you know, it's very, you know, it doesn't need to be said, but had a bit of a fallout and then you sort of waited it out. You know, you've done the right thing with the club and, and waited beside us. And then you're now here under Tommy. What's Tommy given you? Uh, just that confidence and then, you know, he's treating everyone fairly and then everyone's getting the chance they deserve. And then he's been honest and then you want that as a manager where just be honest with everyone and then you know just not just not like, have um, any favorite and then that's what Tommy's coming has done so everyone's got a fair chance you know if you're playing well you keep the shirt uh, regardless of who you are really yeah it's really good for you mm. what was your favorite of your two goals today I would say the second one uh, no I think both um, I think the first the first one was good because uh, Billy and I, we've been, we, you know, we've played with each other for, for so many years, and then it was like brought back uh, old, old memories of me and Billy playing together. Where right? I'll give it to him, give him back, and he just scores. And then uh, that, I mean, the first one was my favourite. Yeah. Lily White's fans love you here. You've heard your songs. Yeah. Have you got any messages for Lily White fans? Uh, I appreciate it, man. They're you know week in week out. They're out there in numbers supporting us, and then I'm grateful to have them uh, behind us. So I'm really, really happy, and I love them back. Well, you are a man of the match today. I'm going to take you in there and get your photo. But thank you very much today, mate, and well done. Cheers, thank you. <laughs> and as the fans are singing your name, Gaffar, what do you think of today's performance? Um, yeah, listen, it was a, a good performance, professional performance. Uh, we always want more here. We always want more and more and more. And we say to the boys, like, we're well, you know, we're well happy with the performance after what happened last week. Um, we could have got more goals again in the second half when we come out. It's a habit we've got to start um, creating where we get chances. We've got to take them, but it's just, you know, I'm, I'm sort of picking at bits now because overall I thought it was a good, solid professional performance um, against a side that, you know, you know, on their day have upset a few teams in the league as well. So, yeah, they are they are struggling at the bottom, but they have gone and got performances, and you can only beat what's put in front of you. Yeah. And to start the way we did, you know, Warren Mafula, you put him in today, and he he sort of repaid you a little bit with the bit of faith that you've had in him. He got himself two goals. They could have had a hatty. I think there could have been probably a few people who've got hat tricks today. What did you think of his performance, and all, also some of the others' performances out there? I mean, with was he works his socks off, so he gives you everything he's got. Um, I'm pleased he's got his goals. He deserved it. I mean, some of them he, some of them he's um, made himself. I said, but. Um, 
yeah, he's been patient as well. He's had the right attitude, and he's been patient, and he's got his chance today. And um, again, at this stage of his career, he's not got nothing to prove to anyone. It's just that we went with Woody and Nathan up front today. And he wanted to try something different today, so which meant you know we put Wazza back in and put um, Woody and uh, Casey out in the wide area. So you know, it's something we wanted to look at after last week. Two new signings coming into the squad with uh, with Ben and Heidi here today. Ben starting straight away. He's played football all through the season, and Heidi has got to get up to speed. We all know that here at Faversham Town. What do you think of, of Ben's performance first off, and also what are your thoughts on Heidi? Yeah, I mean, listen, Ben. Obviously, I know of him, so he's he's coming and to be settled in. Look like he's been here for a while. Um, he's done his job. He's good on the ball. He's quick. Um, he's good in the air. So I think I'd be disappointed he's not scored from one of the corners. Uh, but yeah, he was a good solid debut and Heidi, as we know, um, listen, I know he's been on Love Island and whatever, but he's not here because he went on Love Island, he's here because there's a pedigree as a footballer, he's played at a very good level and he's a very good footballer. Obviously he's going to have to, um, you know, it, doesn't, I mean, it shouldn't take Einstein to work out that he's going to be well rusty, but there's little 20 minutes for him today and, you know, it's a lot different training to playing and today, you know, we sort of had a little chuckle about it and he's back in that's the most important thing he's had his first toe back into it so um, it'll be fine he just needs the needs more minutes and we'll introduce him at the right time to do that as well as so it benefits both with us being going in with so commanding at half time with the 3-1 up what was your team talk like was it a bit more easier than last week I know last week you ripped into the players but did you sort of go, ask them to give the same uh, aggression in the second half yeah, I just thought um, I thought we could up the tempo a little bit more I thought we was playing in tight areas I thought we was playing in the middle quite a bit to uh, a choice to pass where people have got the balls around them and we were saying just to try and get it out into the wide areas a little bit more um, but no the, you know it was a whatever storm going at it's nil nil as far as I'm concerned we start again and treat like, the first half as we did have treated last week's first half and the stupid thing was we come out the second half had done exactly the same we had four or five chances and we've not took none of them and when you're free one up that next goal is important as well so um, I'm just glad we got the fourth one and it seemed to settle everyone down even more um, and then obviously as you saw the others come along and there could have been more been. We now turn our attention to next week where we go to Holmesdale away mm -hmm. and March is a bit of a weird month. We've got away games and we've got a lot of midweek games but then we've got two weekends where we're sort of not doing anything. How do you plan for something like that? Well, for us it's about if we get any knocks or niggles in the games. We have literally got to take them each game as it comes. You know, the Saturday and the Tuesday will depend whether we train on the Thursday but we've got a clear Saturday. But Sometimes it's not a bad thing because we can come in and work on set pieces, work on our shape again and just, just brush up on a few things and uh, make sure that we're going through the remainder of the season knowing that we're fully focused on the, on the things that haven't gone right and obviously try and improve on the things that, that have. Lastly, let's touch on the fans today. They've, obviously, you've heard the song they can sing for you. They were singing for Mafula. They had a couple of other songs. How good were they? Because they were really loud today. They weren't really vocal. It's not like saying that they haven't been in other games. But today, got them got them a good victory. And it's always good for, for them to be singing songs. Yeah, they're, uh, listen, it's a very, very well-supported club. And they are vocal. And you can go to some clubs where there's a good fan base there and not a lot of noise. But here, and to be fair, I thought the first half was a, bit, it was a little bit flat. But I think once we started scoring the goals and whatever, then, uh, listen, after last week, you know, fair play to them, because last week they must have wondered what's going on in the first half. But at least we've come out and had a go the second half. But today, overall, I think they've seen a good, solid performance. And, and again, we've got to start another little run, and hopefully today's the start of that. Thank you very much, Gaffer. Thank you for your time. Cheers, Brownie.